Punching, video three, design part two. As we see, the capacity at the column parameter is insufficient. We then try to solve this with shear reinforcement. We select input shear reinforcement, where the shear reinforcement can consist of bent down bars or links. We start with bent down bars. We enter the bending angle to 30 degrees and choose again calculate capacity. We now see that the calculation for shear reinforcement becomes active. This occurs when the capacity without shear reinforcement is insufficient while sufficient capacity can be achieved with shear reinforcement. We now choose bent reinforcement and then result bent down bars capacity. We see that the capacity now is sufficient and to achieve this a shear reinforcement of 2352 square millimeters for load case 2 corresponding to 12 bars with diameter 60 mm is needed. This means that if three bars in each direction are bent down and go through the contour parameter, a sufficient capacity is reached. If we instead want to use links as shear reinforcement, we return to input shear reinforcement. We choose links diameter 6 mm with angle 90 degrees meaning vertical links. We calculate again and choose this time link reinforcement and then result links capacity. We see that the capacity also now is adequate and that a shear reinforcement of 509 square millimeter for load case 2 is required corresponding to at least 19 bars diameter 6 millimeter. We therefore need at least 10 links. As seen from the result, links according to EC2 should be placed in at least two parameters around the column. We are now satisfied with the result and the next step will be to make a printout. We then chose file printout options. Here I can determine the extent of the printout. We chose to obtain the total output, meaning tables for input and result and graphical presentation of the geometry. We again select file and then print. Here is a default layout template named standard available. This template can be changed and new layout templates can be added by the user if desired by the option more. We choose here to edit the current template. A lot of different possibilities are available. One can change the look of the tables and change fonts and sizes on the printout. And the, uh, and the size of images can also be changed. We see here that an image will take up one-fourth of a page. Often larger pictures are requested, maybe half a page or even a whole page. We choose to retain one-fourth of a page in this case. We now receive a preview on the screen that can be checked. In this case, it is three pages. With the arrow buttons at the top edge, one can quickly browse through the printout. And when it is satisfactory, it can be sent to the printer. And if not, we return to printout options for some alteration.